hello. Today we're going to take this third angle drawing and place it in isometric. Now in my class I've got a 3 to 1 rule. Read your question three times, measure twice and only draw once. Right. The reason why I say read three times, make sure you understand the question completely. Make sure when you measure your drawing, you measure correctly. And uh, when you do your lines, draw your lines, just make do it once. As soon as you miss a measurement, you're going to waste time. And as soon as you waste time, you're going to... Yes. Hello. Hi. Hello. Right, hello there. So, this little exercise, we're going to take this given ultra-graphic view, a uh, third angle, and we're going to place it in an isometric view. Now, I've got a 3 to one rule in my class, which I teach to kids. Read your question three times, measure twice, and draw only once. Right, please make sure you understand your question completely. You don't want to start with the drawing and then eventually figure out you should have done something else. By reading it, you make sure about the scale, you make sure about um, layouts and all that kind of stuff and what is required to you, from you. Right, so read three times, measure twice, and the reason why I say measure twice is so easy to make a measurement mistake and draw only your final line work once. You don't want to waste time on making uh, adjusting your line constantly and all that. So a three, two, one. Good thing to go by. All right, so let's quickly have a look at this drawing. Now, like I said with my previous video, I always encourage students to quickly make a freehand drawing to see how this looks. Now, our block, if we go back to how a third angle drawing should be laid out, right, we said top is always on top. We've got a right view with these drawings because this third angle, right goes on this side and the only one that remains is my front. Right. This, you should know, in third angle is top, front, right. You have to know that. Okay. Now, quickly just a freehand drawing. If we can look at this drawing as a whole, if we look at it from the top, we can see there is nothing here, so it looks like a 7 on the side. Okay, If I look at it from the front, I can say, alright, there is nothing here. This space over here corresponds with what this line means. And with autographic drawings, a line always means this, it forms a corner. All right. So I can see in the front that there is a gap, there is a hole. And that line is directly in line with this point. So it means that the top corner and the inside corner lie here. And that corner is on this side. If I look at it from the right view, I can say, all right, here's one solid surface here that I can see. All right? And it must be this section here. And that gap that we saw there, that 25 by 25 opening, is this section here. So placing that quickly in a freehand block. Right. I said from the top it looks like a 7. All right. From the front we can see that section goes down. But because we saw nothing is here, I can't draw here. So I know it steps in. That section here continues out, right? And that 25 by 25 gap goes there. Right, so if I rub out this section. Right, so just by doing this little sketch, I can see if I actually... I'm able to understand how it looks, where, what goes, and if I'm heading in the right direction. Even this helps if I have no idea, if my brain is unable to see this, just by starting to make lines, add these here, move, remove lines there, 
just helps me. You might waste a little time, but at the end, I think your final product would be better. Right, so let's quickly start. Now, I always start my drawings with creating my isometric block first. Isometric block is the space, the total space it takes up, the total width, the total height, and the total depth. Now, if we look at it on our drawing, if we had to create a block, knowing that we know now, my front view is 85 millimeters on the front view. My right view that's over here is 25 and 25, it's 50. And my total height is 35 and 25. It gives me a total distance of 60, height of 60. All right. So now I'm going to create that quickly in isometric space. My baseline, my vertical height line, I'm placing it a bit further to the right because I know it's going to go out further to the left. My front view line, my right view. Right, now according to what we've got here, it goes out 85. Eighty-five here. On the right view, it goes out fifty. And my total height is sixty. Right, so I only have to measure my height once. That point, which is over there, I'm going to duplicate all around. Take it to the left, take it to the right, and then to get my back point, I'm just going to move those points. Right, so there's my 3D space, the total area that it will take up. So now I know nothing can go outside the block, everything has to fit inside that. All right. Now let's start with, which is going to be easier, the top view. All right. In the top view we haven't got any measurements, but I know the top view and my right view are the same. Okay. Because I can see the width here and I can see the width or the depth actually on it. 25 by 25. Right. So on the top, the left side is solid and dark. Okay. This section here is 20. Right, and then it goes in again, so that's going to go in at an angle of 30 degrees. Right, and now this width here, this length, this dimension, I can see it on my right view, it's 25. So I'm measuring 25. And that point I'm taking all the way here. Alright, so there's my basic. Now, looking at that, we know there's nothing here. We spoke about that earlier. There's nothing here as well. So, we need to get this line here, that line on my top view, and that's indicated by the gap of 25. So, measuring backwards, 25, taking that point in at 30 degrees, 
Now I can see my basic shape, the top section. Now I'm going to make it dark because I know that's my final line. Right. Now, how far does this point here go down? I can see it on my right view. It goes down 25 millimeters. Now I can go on my right view, measure down 25, all right, measure down 25, and then take these two points in at 30 degrees. And then by bringing those two points down, I've got my drawing. Get that inside corner. All right. Now I need the body of it. Alright? This 20, this section here, goes all the way down. So it reaches the maximum of the block. That point. Alright, so I just brought that down to where it reaches the block. Now, looking at the top view, nothing is there. There is a line here. That line is in line with these two inner corners. Alright, so it means this point goes in. That point on top, that inner corner, well, I've already got it. There where they meet up. Alright. And all that remains now is to take this section out to my right view. The right side of my block. this line and there we go there we've taken that two dimensional view that third angle autographic drawing and placed it into a 3D space this section here the planning, knowing where everything belongs starting with your block first and then placing your views on the relevant sides helps a lot. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know if I need uh, to do some extra exercises on these. Good luck. Happy drawing.